Hello guys, what is going on? My name of course is Matt from the MC Spectrum and today I'm going to be talking to you about the upcoming DLC, Naval Strike, once more. Now of course it is the one coming after Second Assault and we are all very excited for Second Assault, but personally, it's not the one I'm most excited for. Naval Strike is definitely one that I am finding to be the most highly anticipated, that is in my opinion of course. But you know, I love playing in boats, I have quite a fair few service stars with them, I just love playing in boats. I think they're the best vehicle and a great addition to Battlefield 4 as they were not in Battlefield 3. So I think this DLC is going to be one that I personally enjoy and I really want to see them go all out with it. You know, I've said in a previous video about Naval Strike, but uh, today specifically, sorry, what I want to talk about is uh, one possible game mode which I'm just, you know, it's just an idea of mine, no speculation, I've got no... Uh, background information for this, but this is just something that I thought up. Now, uh, some of these I'm just going to be, you know, I've just thought of today or whatever. I, it just popped into my mind, and I thought maybe that would be an awesome little addition to the Naval Strike DLC. So I'll stop wasting time and I will get straight on into that. Imagine the control point D on Goldmud Railway. It's stuck on a little train kind of thing that moves up and down the track, which is a really, a really interesting point or feature to the Goldmud Railway map. It's based around this railway, and so it has this uh, this thing on the track moving up and down. Now, imagine this, one upped with an aircraft carrier in the middle of the Chinese Sea. Let's say, for example, there's a bit of a story, i.e. Titanfall mode, you know, multiplayer storyline. Let's say... Let's say the Chinese have captured one of the American uh, aircraft carriers, and the Americans need it back. The Chinese need to push it all the way back to their base. At the moment, it's in lockdown in the middle of the ocean, caught between the two factions. Both of you need to go from your mothership or whatever, your base in the middle of the ocean or whatever it may be, to try and capture that single point which is in this boat. Now there'll be no flags or whatever, it will literally, this boat is the whole objective, so it's a very, very clear game mode, you know, quite simple, you just need to go for this boat, capture one point on it and it'll start moving. For example, uh, go into what is it the control tower where the captain may sit and you will need to get someone in there at all times To try and bring it back to your base Now other people have to defend it of course because anyone can get in there and they can recapture it for their team So it'd be a very very what would I say it'd be a very uh, Infantry orientated game, but still it would have support for vehicles Which I know is something that's been a big problem for Battlefield 4 because people are missing out the infantry gameplay Inside, there will be no room for vehicles. On the top of the deck, there would be. Trying to get to the ship, there would be. But inside, there's nothing. So that would be quite interesting. So, say you had a 64 player, player server, you know, you could have, let's say, three or, oh, yeah, three choppers on each team uh, and two boats. That'd be a perfect balance for vehicles. Ten vehicles, however many players you want to fit. And then you could have, I don't know, say 30 to 40 people trying to get to this one capture point. You could have lockdowns on doorways and everything. It'd be a really interesting game mode, in my opinion. Now, of course, this is no speculation or anything. This is just my personal idea, which I thought would be quite interesting. You know, if DICE really did somehow manage to see this and, you know, take this into opinion, uh, into account, sorry, right before the naval strike, this would be an awesome little addition. I think it'd be a really, really interesting game mode. I think a lot of people would play it, especially since the, the new one, Obliteration, has been a bit of a flop. And they're not really introducing anything new that we know of so far. So I think this could be a perfect excuse to get something really cool in. I think it's a perfect, you know, perfect little uh, incentive to this this kind of map pack. This kind of uh, DLC, sorry. I think it'd be really, really, really cool if DICE could use this. I also think it could be quite commander orientated. You know, say there was a huge ground war going up on the top deck. You have 20 people from the US team locking down the control tower, helping their captain, let's say, trying to command it back to base, and then the Chinese come up in a whole line battle, stepping up, like you know, metre by metre on this ship, cover to cover, to try and get back to this control point. The US captain gets contacted, let's say, gets the, gets, what's it, the, the huge miss, cruise missile, there you go, and he wipes out 10, 20 Chinese soldiers, and the Americans could lock down the whole ship. They could have huge AA guns on either side of the dock or whatever. It would be an awesome little game mode. It would have a great balance, in my opinion, between 
all of the different vehicles, AA and infantry. However, with everything there are going to be problems. Now of course there could be some problems with this kind of uh, this kind of idea for a game mode. You know, maybe the commander is not going to be as involved as we like cuz if it's inside a huge naval carrier, perhaps he can't have a lot of involvement. If he's trying to do supply drops or whatever, it can't travel through roofs. It's like locker, the commander has no place. So why play as it? That's one of the problems I think, of course, and Maybe that's one reason DICE might not put it in. Uh, another one, it'd be a bit samey if you had it on more than one map. For example, air superiority. It's a bit of a gimme, it's not something that anyone really does because it's the same on every single map. You know, there's a lot of difference when you're actually on the single map itself. If you're on this, you know, there's not a lot of variation you can do with just a boat. So, of course I'm pointing out my own flaws here, but still, it's something that has to be noted. Battlefield's got a lot of problems, we don't want to make just another dud game mode. But, is there anything DICE could do to avoid this if they were to add something like this in? Perhaps one could be... One map could be based around a huge naval carrier, for example. Uh, another could be a, sunk, a sunken submarine. One could be uh, a huge... You know, a docking port, for example. That There's a few different options they could do. There, there are limits, of course, because it needs to be based around naval, naval warfare, of course, but... I think this game mode could be something that works quite well. What are your opinions though guys? This is just my theory, you know, I just thought this up, I thought it was a pretty cool idea. Tell me what you guys think, thank you for watching this video, give us a like if you enjoyed it, comment, let us know how we did. Until next time guys, my name's been Matt from the MC Spectrum, thank you and I will see you next time.